for Kashmiris. That's why. Indian forces need to go back. Kashmir is for Kashmir. It's not for India. It's not for Pakistan. It's for Kashmiris. Modi's killing innocent terrorists. The message I want to give to the world is that we're here today to give a voice to the voiceless in Kashmir. There's a complete lockdown. My husband is a Kashmiri citizen. He is from Indian-occupied Srinagar. We have not been able to contact his family for six days. So we are here today to stand in solidarity with the Kashmiri people. And congratulate Prime Minister Modi for setting the world 70 years back and revoking special status of my friends in Kashmir. My Kashmiri friends in America have not been able to contact their family for the past six days. And shame on, shame on India. We are bleeding. Help us. Otherwise, today it's us, tomorrow it will be you. And everybody was quiet for too long and then said we should have. Nobody steps up for the Kashmiris. We have to turn this into a global movement where everybody raises awareness everywhere. We need to get in touch with our elected representatives. We need to have protests like here. It's happening all over the world now. We have to keep it going. I watched severe crackdowns in 2008, 2009, 2010, and the beginning of 2016. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't even describe what I saw. So I'm so happy to see everybody here. And the U.S. has to step in. The Indian lobby is so strong. We have to counter it. We want the world to know that only self-determination and the plebiscite is the solution to the problem of Kashmir. मुस्लिम एक हो जाएं तो हमें जरूरत नहीं है लोगों के दरवाजों पे जाके भीख मांगने की क्योंकि हम लोग मुस्लिम में इतनी पावर है कि हम लोग अपने आप को डिफेंड कर सके लेकिन हमारी सबसे बड़ी कमजोरी यह है कि हम लोगों में इत्तेफाक नहीं है हम लोग बीइंग ए मुस्लिम हम लोग दूसरों के ऊपर हमेशा डिपेंड करते हैं हमें चाहिए कि हम लोग अपने ऊपर डिपेंड करें हमें नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने जो रास्ता दिखाया हम उसको हल करें अल्लाह की रस्सी को नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की रस्सी को मजबूत करें तो आज हमारी इज्जत हो हमारे दरवाजों के आगे लोग खड़े हों हम मंगतों की तरह लोगों के दरवाजों के आगे ना खड़े हों दहशत गर्दी है और दुनिया को मैसेज ये देना चाहते हैं कि प्लीज कश्मीरियों की हेल्प करें कभी तो कोई काम कर दें प्लीज I'm a Kashmiri. It's a big shame that people of India are not speaking against this regime, against this brutal regime. We have locked down Kashmir for the last seven days. We're not able to talk to our families. They're, they're just asking for the right to self-determination, which has been guaranteed by the UN. So it's a pity to see that the whole world is silent about it. It's a gross violation of human rights going on and there. And it's shame on the people of India who are not speaking against yes, these shame. violations. It's a shame. shame. This is a basic right for everyone to call their parents. I felt helpless when I was not able to call my dad for like four days. So that is a basic right for everyone to have food, to have access to ambulance, phone calls, and basically to have access to an internet. That's a basic right. So that's why I'm here for people to know that we don't even have the basic right of all the communication channels. <laughs>